morning youtube uh i know it's been a quite a while since i've made any real videos and i'm just finishing up a little patch here that we didn't get cut before we got snowed out up here this last winter and got to change a chain here and got a few products i want to share with you guys especially you guys that are running huskies um i put a red beard uh, foam filter set up on this and I've run it uh, I don't know a couple weeks now I think over the last few months we ain't been doing much cutting been on an excavator for quite a while now but anyway um, I'm absolutely impressed with it it's by far a superior filter setup to uh, what Husky runs from stock you know and their hd filters ain't bad but this is a way better setup and the thing i really like about it is it comes with a new intake horn that bolts to the carburetor and with these x torques well and even the old style too like my 390 the old style xps and stuff um it's a just a hard 90 and this is a 3d printed horn i'll show you guys here in a minute but it is a nice smooth transition you know a nice radius into the carburetor on it and i don't know that it really helps i mean i it's got to help some on power but i you know it's negligible but um i've noticed with these x torques seems to make it idle a little bit more stable um getting the the divider and the x torques from stock uh really helps these things idle and you know this saw, saw idled pretty good but with this it just idles just that much better it seems like so that's kind of nice um and then anyway oh, i put on west coast dogs here uh, let's see yeah, got the three point west coast dogs and man i really like these uh, they're excellent way better than what husky runs so but anyway on your anybody who's running a foam filter i mean you don't have to do this but i like to i did it even on my stock hd filters but with your oiled filters running a piece of pantyhose over it really helps because it'll help keep your filter cleaner longer because you can just pop this off when it gets dirty shake it off and uh you know shake that pantyhose out and put it back on and away you go again for another couple days so it just prolongs how long, you know, in between your filter cleanings. Uh, it keeps a lot of the, a lot of stuff from getting super deep down into your filter. So, uh, I guess I'll take this off. And take this filter off and show you guys in here. So, I don't know if you guys can see down in there or not. I've got my phone on portrait mode, so. But anyway, it's a nice, nice smooth radius in there. Uh, you know. There you go. Nice, nice oil filter setup. Fits under the stock cover. Um, you can get these that are uh, three inch or maybe they're four inch tall. I, I don't know for sure, but um, you gotta cut a hole in your top cover and you know, they're that tall or so. And that would probably be all right, um, depending on the con kind of conditions you're cutting in. But for me, I, I think this one that fits under the stock cover should do fine for now. But anyway, 
I just thought I'd take a minute. This is the first time I've been out cutting and well, I've cut, I think this will be my third day in the last month and a half. I've been sitting on an excavator for yeah, month and a half or so now. And so just ain't been much exciting going on lately and busy with softball and baseball and you guys know how it is. The only thing I don't like about these dogs is I gotta kind of bore this hole out where the chain catcher lines up with because it don't, you kind of gotta shimmy with it to get it on there, but that ain't no big deal. But uh, I really, really like these dogs. They dig in nice. They're nice and sharp. They're a little bit longer than a stock dog. And it's really nice having this centered, uh, dog be a little bit longer um it just pivots really nice in the woods so anyway um i hope you guys are all doing well uh you know i, I know i'm sure most of you guys that are subscribed to me have noticed that a lot of my videos went missing and i don't know what happened there they just kind of got deleted one day somehow and so that's another reason why I kind of hadn't been posting much for a while is because like I said I didn't know exactly what happened to my what happened to my videos but I figure well no harm no foul and I, I have a few of them still saved on my phone, but anyway, I'm just slowly puttering along here. I've got about an hour left this morning, and then I got to go back over and pile them out here, cutting by myself. My father-in-law's just down the draw on excavator piling, so um, anyway, I guess I'm going to get back to it, so... Until next time, uh, you guys all take care. Bye.